Hey, this is David again from the True Blue Sand Blog, and we're going to see about dropping a dead hickory tree today. Uh, Susan's in the house working up apples, so she's not here to run the camera, but I think we'll, we can get by pretty good. Anyway, this is a uh, this is a pig nut hickory, I believe. It's been dead for over a year, and we go up, we can see. We got a really, you know, totally dead top, and we have, uh, you can see insects and woodpeckers are working on it. Uh, one thing I want you to notice is the base, the base of this tree is big, it's swollen. And there's a fence line that runs through here, and we can see, we can see scarring up the side of this tree, pretty sure this has woven wire and probably two barbed wires in it. And when I thump it, sounds doesn't sound too hard, but the trouble is, you know, your uh, bark is already loose. Doesn't sound, I've, I've heard worse. As I come up here, as I come up, it gets solid here. So I think we're pretty good shape uh, for putting a hinge in it. Uh, there's, you know, if you can take a slice out of here and see what it looks like, but it, it sounds, it sounds good, it sounds good. So I should have good wood in there. And the reason it sounds so bad is because this bark, this bark is coming loose. So what is that about? Let me see if I can read my numbers here. Uh, I don't have my reading glasses on. That's about. About 14 to six, a little over 14, about 15 inch tree. So about a 12 inch long hinge. And when we come out here and look at it, it aims right toward that dead sassafras out there. And here I'm gonna hang the camera vertical. We're right in line with the vertical line of it. And it's got good forward weight. I'm going to come around to the side and you can see it has good forward weight so we're not going to bother even having wedges here so, so anyway we're gonna I've got the camera set up on the other side and uh, we'll set this camera up so you can see it fall from behind and uh, should be pretty straightforward and since it's been standing here dead a year, this can go right up to the wood pile at the house. That's what we'll be doing. With it. So, okay, I'll get the other camera going here. And we'll drop this baby. Okay, ready to go. Put my ears down, face shield down, cranking up.
Okay, let's have a look how we did. Okay, here's our front cut, matching cut, cleaned that up, punched it through here. Whew, out of breath. That's hard holding it up that high for me. Anyway, no wire. Didn't hit any wire up here. Okay, let's have a look how we did. Okay, here's our front cut, matching cut, cleaned that up, punched it through here. Whew, out of breath. That's hard holding it up that high for me. Anyway, no wire. Didn't hit any wire up here. And you can see you see the track where it punched through after I thinned that down just a little bit we went out the back and when you're making your hinge I've got it really thicker than it needs to be because we see we got fiber pull we got fiber pull here um, I tend to leave them a little thicker on these dead trees so I know that's gonna gonna pull and I don't want it to crush anyway there we go came out okay and you see it it parted it parted the bark you heard that bark pop as that came out the back and there we go that'll be some good firewood it looks damp it looks damp right here but you get up a ways and that'll all be dry wood that was quick <laughs> okay thank you much i've got got to do the fun part now